What is the true satanic agenda of artificial intelligence? Well, back in the book of Daniel, you read this, there's a prophecy about the end times, and it says about that the um, fifth kingdom is going to be part iron, part miry clay. And it says, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Um, just quoting from memory there. P pardon me if I didn't get it perfectly right. But uh, iron and clay, machine and man. Man is made up of similar compounds to clay. So you have this thing of man working with machine in the end times. And we see that. Uh, you can see it very plainly. All the fervor for taking out your, your dumb phone, you know, smartphone they call it, and you take it out and you ask it questions and it tells you, you know. And, uh, you know, we can determine what videos are popular and which videos should be promoted and whatever by our artificial intelligence. No. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. And, um, you know, so they they have all this different stuff like that. This All this, uh, you know, artificial intelligence garbage. But uh, the other thing, uh, which I find very interesting, is um, there was a video I saw, I think yesterday, I think it came out. And um, I'm not saying everything the guy says is right, so don't, you know, just... Uh, remember that but uh, Neil McCoy Ward he has a he's a financial guy on YouTube and he's put out some good stuff definitely and he came out with a video which was very very shocking showing I think it was 1.4 billion jobs are going to be lost um, due to artificial intelligence you say wow so by 2030 we're going to lose 1.4 billion jobs no actually it's going to be in the next three years three years in the next three years 1.4 billion jobs will be lost to artificial intelligence you know i had to just kind of you think how's that even you know the implications of that are, are huge because you take one of those 1.4 billion jobs that could be one man and he's got three children and a wife so that doesn't just affect one life out of 1.4 billion jobs lost. That affects five. Five people. The husband that has the job that just was lost, and then his wife and their three children. And you could have other families and things like that too. You know, a man with seven children, eight children, whatever. Um, I mean, you talk about uh, just blowing your mind. And you can see it. That's the whole thing. You know, I did a video and actually filmed right out here on the road. Um, this big, you know, this machine, you know, these, uh, I forget what they call the thing, mulcher, shredder thing, whatever. I forget what, excavator mulcher, I think is what it's called. It's a big excavator and it goes and it trims the trees. And it does a terrible job. They're just smashing trees down and all this other stuff. Well, who would have done that in the past? Skilled men. Men with chainsaws and things like that, going out, cutting trees and getting up there and cutting branches off and things, keeping the roads cleaned. But, oh, well, it's a lot quicker just to get one guy with his, you know, $500,000 machine out there and he's just smashing trees down and just, you know. So you eliminate the jobs of lots of men and replace it with one machine. See, this has been going on for a while, you know, and we see the thing, too, of... Uh, you go to grocery stores and whatever, and they have the self-checkout lines. I will not use a self-checkout line. That's my way of protesting something in a peaceful manner and just saying, I'm not going over there. I want to deal with a person. I am going to be dealing with somebody here at the checkout line because I want to try to slow the system down. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. It's coming in. Just go ahead with it. Oh, we're supposed to hinder. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's the body of Christ. Okay. Say, oh, it's the Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit within the body of Christ, but specifically that's written about the body of Christ. Um, and that's the true interpretation of it. I don't agree with anything else, especially that it's the Antichrist and he hinders the, you know, Antichrist from showing up later. You get these kooky explanations. But uh, you can agree to disagree or whatever. I, I don't care, you know. doesn't matter to me. But um, 
sorry about that. Finger hit the lanyard of the camera here. But, um, you know, this whole uh, artificial intelligence thing coming in, I, I mean, it's frightening to think of. And what are people going to do? The sunlight hitting the camera here. What are people going to do when the artificial intelligence thing comes in? 1.4 billion jobs lost. Just, I mean, it's mind blowing. So, um, just wanted to put that out there. Uh, brethren, you need to have lots of different skills. You need to have different ways that you can make a living. And again, oh brother, there's nothing wrong with being in debt. You know, oh, come on, quick, lay off the debt thing and whatever. What are you going to do if you lose your job? You know, you have debts to pay. I have bills to pay. What am I going to do? Well, you know, I understand what it's like to be in debt. I was in debt many years ago. But you have to pay that stuff off. You have to live simple. You know, um, I mean, it, it was a hard, it's been a hard life for us. But you know, it's worth it. I'm walking on ground right now on property that's mine. There's no bank payment. And uh, a lot of scrimping, a lot of saving, a lot of doing without. Uh, that's the whole thing, brethren. That's, that's the point of it all. You have to learn to do without. You can't just say, well, you know, I need to have this and everybody else is in debt, so we have to be in debt too. No, uh, you have to get yourself out of debt. And if you are in debt, um, that's a problem. It's a big problem. And uh, you might be in that 1.4 billion jobs that's lost in the future. And if you are, what are you going to do? Uh, well, I'll just trust the Lord and things. Well, trust the Lord, certainly, but if you're not following His Word, uh, well, God is not required to uh, provide for you and pay off your debts when you're not supposed to have debts to begin with. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, and, you know, quite frankly, I don't even think you should be messing with this artificial intelligence stuff. You know, I mean, it avoided as much as you can at all costs. I, I would not ask a stupid computer thing, uh, what do you think about such and such or whatever else. I mean, if you haven't seen my video I did about the Alexa or whatever, you know, um, you know, where I smashed that Amazon Alexa, found a used one. It, I don't even know if the thing worked or not, but uh, I made it look like it worked. You know, it, it would come on and stuff and do little blue line thing or something light up but uh and i added the audio from somebody else's video but um it's that's truly how i feel about artificial intelligence i uh, just like to destroy it <laughs> uh, i'm not going to ask some stupid robot you know about whatever and they have the artificial intelligence stuff on the bible and and things oh well, it'll tell you the truth no it won't it'll tell you whatever the programmer uh puts in it so, crazy times we're going into, brethren. But um, the more of this stuff we see, the more we realize that our redemption is drawing nigh. Uh, unless you're a, you know, a preterist, historicist, then uh, there is no redemption. There is no uh, redemption of the purchased possession. That's apparently already happened somewhat, so, kind of, but it's symbolically, you know, whatever. Uh absolutely insane all the events of revelation happen in the past well then you have a real problem for the future so <laughs> craziness all right well everybody's getting ready to leave here so uh i need to close this video up and head to the office and a bunch of things to, to get done today and everything so uh, i guess we'll see everybody later um, please give me your thoughts about this artificial intelligence stuff in the comment section down below. What do you think about it? And, um, and we'll see you in upcoming videos.